So today I'm going to review Nykaa's newest launch, which is Nykaa Cream to Powder Compact. And um, if I'm not wrong, they have launched seven shades. Out of seven, three are cool tone, and uh, three are warm tone, and one dark color. Very very dark color it is. And uh, these compacts are good for everyday makeup. Like you can use them as foundation or just for concealing purpose. And these are supposed to be like cream to powder finish. So when you apply, they will apply apply like a cream product. And uh, after a couple of minutes, they will settle down as a like a powder finish. So the, so that you don't really have to set them with a the powder. So out of all the shades, I kind of found those uh, pink tone shades quite grey looking. I was so confused that I ended up picking number six, but unfortunately, that shade is again very very light for me. So I can use that color only to highlight the under area like a concealer and cannot apply it all over my face otherwise I'll end up looking you know quite grey so we are going to give this a shot today and I have already used that I have already worn that particular um, compact couple of times for my foundation like I have just taken a bath and applied some moisturizer on my face so for my foundation today, I am going to apply LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Illuminating Foundation. I am in shade Soft Honey. Now I am taking this uh, cream to powder compact from Nykaa and apply it under my eyes. That's how I have been using it. And uh, I will not say that I don't like it. The only challenge is uh, my under eye area is quite dry. And uh, if I have not moisturized it properly, this product does look a little too drying. If I use this one only under my eyes, it looks it gives really nice brightening effect because uh, this shade, shade number six, has yellow tones. It's not like full coverage, so. If you want more coverage, you have to build build it. I don't personally like to build uh, concealers too much because I already have like a really dry skin and the under eye area tends to look a lot dry and wrinkly if I layer on too much product. So this is good for me if I need a concealer on an everyday basis. However, I don't really like lighter under eye area on a daily basis because I don't wear foundation. So, uh, but yeah, it, this is like a good on the go product because it has a sponge which I never use and uh, it has a huge mirror. Uh, the formula is like nice and creamy, it blends really well. So, I'm taking a little bit on my eyes. That's how I apply it. It doesn't crease under my eyes and uh, I give it a couple of uh, like minutes and it sets. It doesn't set matte, but uh, it doesn't feel like heavy or greasy. So uh, yeah, I have heard that Nykaa is adding more shades. Uh, if they add more shades, I think this will be a really good everyday product. And let's move on to powder. So for powder, I'm going to use my Face with Ultim Pro Mineral Mineral Loose Powder in the shade Sand Beige Number no. Three. This powder, and if you have been a long time subscriber of my channel, you already know that I. This was a part of my empties a couple of months ago and I have picked a new one. So I am taking this Lottie London powder brush. This is a really good brush. I uh, A lot of you guys asked me last time when I used it uh, whether this is a good product or not. It is a good brush. I have been using this brush for almost like 8-9 months now, maybe a year now. And I wash it regularly and it is still very soft and uh, uh, it doesn't shed. So. This is a really good brush if you are looking for nice brushes. I really wanted to, I really want to pick more brushes from this brand. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Now I'm going to bronze up my face, and uh, this year I've decided to stick with new products. So this is my NYX Matte Bronzer. I remember using the Body Shop Bronzer and the Kiko Bronzer a lot last year, so I thought give, I should give them a rest and pick something new from my stash. So this is not a new purchase but this is an old blush which I was not using much. So I really like using bronzers because on my complexion they look much better than uh, a blush. And I like to apply a little bit of uh, the bronzer on my eyelids on a daily basis when I don't really want to put anything on like I don't want to put eyeshadow on but I don't like them to look ashy I apply a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids and I don't use this brush because this is like a too big and it will be like give me raccoon eyes but you can 
use a small brush and apply a little bit of bronzer on your eyelids and uh, that will be really good for every day. For my brows, I'm going to use my Soap and Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow Setting and Sculpting Pencil. I'm going to use a little highlighter today because I'm not going to apply any blush. Uh, for that, I'm going to use LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 50 Watt. For my lips, I'm going to use a Jacqueline Color Pop in shade Peach Pop and uh, lip liner, pack lip liner in Infinite Kiss. And the wear time I get from this product is like good 6 hours, 6 to 7 hours. I don't really make, wear makeup more than that. And this is like a very lightweight, light coverage product. I'm not sure if you can build this up or not because I don't really like to cake up the under eye area. So, and it feels like really creamy and uh, comfortable on the face as well. Yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick makeup look plus demo of Nika Cream 2 Powder Compact. And if you did, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Till then, bye.